Listen, 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 listen. You want to make a lot of money? You think I'm fucking stupid? You want to be the best? You want to get rich? Here's how you do it. It doesn't matter. By the way, if you can't do this, fine. Don't become a millionaire. So I'm going to welcome my friend Andy Elliott. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I swear to God, I, I would give my legs to be in this room when I was 20 years old. Okay? So I'm 44 right now. Yeah, I got a nine-figure business. I got all this shit. I got a badass life. But I wish somebody that was a good leader would have talked to me when I was 20. Am I right? You know what I'm saying, right? Me too. Every single one of you. The fact if you're in the room and you're in your 20s and 30s, you're extremely lucky. But also the good news is, is I changed my life at 39. So I don't really care how old you are. The day you're born, the day you die, and the day your life changes forever. So I've got two things that we're going to cover today. Number one, I want to teach you how to sell anybody. I mean anybody. You guys can't say no to me. It's physically impossible. I will frame you so good you can't say no to me. If I want yeses, I'll get yeses. If I want noes, I'll get noes. If I want you to give me your utility bill, you'll give me your utility bill. If I want you to think this way, you'll think this way. Whatever I want, I can get. The question is, can you learn the skill to get it? So it's called the art of communication. It is the single most important thing that any human being can do in this era in which you live in right now is communicate and speak and talk. If you're not the greatest speaker in the room, you must go start practicing and training to become the greatest speaker in the room. That is your job. Secondly, you must learn what works and what doesn't. What doesn't work goes away. What works stays. Does that make sense? Okay. Your words are your weapon. When you watch a motivational movie, when you watch a motivational YouTube video, do you notice how the words make you feel a certain way and they move you in a certain direction? Yes or no? Yes. What if someone else would say the same words but not use them in the same order? Would it make you feel the same way? No. no. So we might have two people that have the same information, but one uses wordplay better than the other. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. Who hits doors? Raise your hand. Cool guy in the hat. How old are you? 34. How long have you been selling for? Uh, four years. Four years. Come here. I got you. All right, guys, give it up for him. Come on. Let's go. We're going to flip this around. All right, number one, what's your name? Tyler. Tyler, what's up, bro? All right, by the way, listen, everybody understand this. This is training. Training is when we just role play. Are you ready? Yeah, now we're good. All right, who's ready to train? You guys ready? All right, give it up for him. Everybody knows what knock knock is, right? Knock, knock. Ready? Go. Okay, stop. Hold on. Real quick, real quick. All right, hold on. No, no, no. We're good. Listen to me. By the way, I, they don't say you're the world's number one sales training by fucking giving out bullshit. Sorry to cuss, but I'm just telling you. I'm going to teach you to be elite, and I'm going to teach you to be great fast. You guys want to do that? Yeah. Okay, the quicker you can get the yes, the quicker you get people interested, the more time you're going you're gonna to earn the right. Anybody ever, you want to train? Write down, earn the right. Earn the right to get more time. Earn the right. I don't know who he is. He's at my front door. Do I like people at my front door? Yes or no? No. Do I want to give people more time at my front door? No. No. The only way I'm going to give him more time at my front door is if I am interested. Your job is in 30 seconds or less, get your point across and get them interested. Do you guys get it? Yeah. Do they want you there? No. 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 So you got to make them want you there. How can you make someone want you who doesn't want you? You got to be attractive. Okay, really important. And by the way, I'm going to get into the words, but right when someone opens their door, when they open the door, do they know you? No. Wave at them. How you doing? Okay, what's your name? Tyler. Tyler, when you say, say, hey, I want you to say, how are you doing? My name's Tyler. How you doing? My name's Tyler. How about this? Hey, sir, how you doing? My name is Tyler. Is that more personable? Yeah. Yes. Why do I put my hand on my heart? Listen, 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 listen. You want to make a lot of money? You think I'm stupid I got nine figures in my bank account I'm not even playing I don't owe anybody any money listen up super important guys if you're watching this video right now and you're like Andy I'm not built like that bullshit yes you are okay got to train that's the way it works train or complain it's your choice okay every day I train the greatest in the world you know what I mean are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history if you are in the description box below on this YouTube video there's gonna be a little link you click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. You want to make a lot of money? They're called micro skills. Wake your asses up, your hands, your, your head nods, your eyes, your teeth, 
your mouth, your feet, your shoulders, your posture, all of it matters. You literally are a walking billboard. When you're speaking, when you're talking, you're putting on a seminar, one to one or one to 10,000, it doesn't matter. Are you alive, yes or no? Do you want your client in a buying state where they want to buy? Do you want them in an interested state in which they want to be interested? Do you want them in a belief state where they want to believe in you, yes or no? Yes. Transfer of emotion. You must take the way that you feel, you must press it into them. Do you understand? Yes. Listen, guys, they're, they're making macaroni and cheese, watching freaking TV, dealing with some bullshit drama. They ain't got time. They're already behind, and you're at their door. You guys got it? Yeah. Tyler, is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, ready? Knock, knock. Cool. Hey, how you doing? My name is Tyler. My company has been allocated to this area because research shows in the next 12 to 18 months, utility bills are going to double or triple. Listen, I got two quick questions to ask you, and then I'll be on my way, unless you'd like some additional information. Does that sound fair? It's fair. Hold on. Did he say yes or no? Can he say no to me? Watch. You can't say no to me. Number one, I'm going to be so nice to you, you don't want to say no to me. Number two, I'm going to speak to you with familiarity. What is familiarity? We already know each other. Listen, people say, oh, you got to say hi and then build a fucking report. No, you talk to them from the very first second like you've known each other your whole life. It doesn't matter. By the way, if you can't do this, Fine, don't become a millionaire. Bitch, complain, stay the same. Are you guys willing to change? Yes. Do you like people? Yes. Can you talk to them like you know them? Yes. Okay, cool. Can you wave? Yes. Can you guys wave? Yes. Do you remember back in the old days when people used to wave at each other? Yes. When's the last time somebody's waved at you? <laughs> Been a fucking long time, ain't it? You ready? Secret weapons. When's the last time when somebody said their name, they put their hand on their heart? What does your hand on your heart mean? Honor, integrity, good person. Think. Think. Do you want to be the atomic, atomic bomb? You want to be a secret weapon or you want to be a fing dub? If you want to get everything you want every time, you're a sniper. One door, one shot, one utility bill, one close every time. You say impossible. Yeah, says the broke person in the room, but not the rich person. See, poor people, they're not resourceful. Rich people are. I know that everyone in this world knows something that I need to know. And I'm going to figure out who knows it, and I'm going to learn it. And then I'm going to get it down, and then I'm going to adopt those skills, and then I'm going to become the greatest communicator on planet Earth, and I'm literally going to be a sniper, a master communicator, somebody that makes it easy to say yes to, easy to say yes. They make it hard to say no to. You can't say no to me. What? Not even an option. And then make it the client's idea every single time. I've never sold a solar panel, but I know how to sell. So if I was to knock on someone's door, I would use every micro skill available. When you guys go to war, do you want to fire off every weapon and annihilate the enemy, or do you want to just try one at a time? No, annihilate them. Oh. Annihilate them. OK, ready? Ready, Tyler? OK. So I want you to do me a favor. Just wave at them like this. Door opens. Hi. Why? Because people don't get waved at anymore. It feels good. Does it feel good when people are nice to you? Yes. yes. Okay. What are we going to do immediately to them? Nice. We're going to make them feel good. Okay? I'm going to teach you guys some things on the backside of this board that's going to show you how to create the greatest salesperson in the history of the world. Okay? Right when they open the door. You may think that I'm stupid. You keep running it your way. Hey, here's what I'll tell you. If I'm telling you to run my play and I'm making all this money, but you're running this play, that's called broke arrogance. You're like, nah, dude, I like doing it this way. Okay, cool. Pull the bank account. Come on, pull the bank account. See, there's this thing that we did growing up, and I know we're in an era right now where people talk shit all the time, but there was an era in which we grew up, and there was something called the YTD. What does that mean? You know who we take, you know who we listen to? People with the biggest year to dates. By the way, if you're a bad person and you got a big year to date, I'm not interested in you. I'm interested in learning from the greatest and the best. You know why? Scoreboard doesn't lie. People lie. 
scoreboard doesn't lie. So I want to tell you something, year to date, all right? So I know you've been doing this for a long time, but I know that there's four times the earnings still sitting there in front of you. What does that mean? Client literally opens the door no matter who they are immediately. Hey, how you doing? Look, wave at them like you're actually glad to see them. Hey, how you doing? Everybody, smile with your eyes. Smile with your eyes. Do you know what it looks like when somebody smiles with their eyes? Looks like this. Hey, how you doing? My, my wife calls it love eyes. She's like, I can tell when you look through me, and I can tell when you see me. Do you, do you guys understand? If you have a partner, if you have a girlfriend, you have a boyfriend, have you ever noticed when they're really into you and then when they just see you? Do you know the difference? Do you guys yes or no? Yes. yes. Love eyes. You want to make them fall in love with you. They don't know they will yet, but I know they will. That is, all, is this a checkers game? I move, they move, or is this chess? And I already yes. know my next 10 moves. Yes. Next 10 moves, chess. I'm going to walk up at the door. I'm going to wave. They're going to like me. After I wave, when I tell them my name, I'm going to put my hand on my heart, and I'm going to kind of lean over like I'm the all-American boy that literally is in everybody's neighborhood that everybody wished they had a, as a grandson. Number one, that's a shit I'm going to pull immediately. Then I'm going to tell them who I'm with so that they can know who I'm with. And then I'm going to tell them why I'm there. Why am I there? Because research shows. Everybody say research shows. Research shows. Everybody say what we've learned. What we've learned. Guys, you got to tell them you're there for something. Don't say Nancy down the road. She was concerned. She couldn't put groceries on the table. What's Nancy got to do with me? Right? Am I right? Right? Hey, research shows. Is that everybody? Yes. Research shows. Hey, by the way. Have you guys been brought in by like the CIA and the government and there's some top secret shit going on here and they learn that in this area there's a bill spike going on? Aren't you there telling them that SRP is doing an X amount in in increase? Yes or no? Yes. 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 You can say, hey, with all the bill increases, we've been allocated to this area. Do you guys get it? Yes. yes. Make yourself sound important and then all of a sudden I start treating you important. You guys get it? You want to be a door-to-door -door salesman or you want to be somebody important that's got something to say? Which one? How good you are will determine how they view you. Okay. Chess. I know. I know. This is called training. It's called training. I teach, you emulate, you get paid. You can't become, you stay broke, you become, you get rich. Don't have to be me. Do it better than me. They knock on the door. We knock on the door. The second they open it, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? My name is Tyler. My company has been allocated. Look at my hands. See these hands? They're weapons. My company has been allocated to this area because research shows. Everybody do this with your finger. Research shows. Yeah, move, move. Get some energy going. It's like a ball of fucking fire. Research shows in the next 12 to 18 months. When? 12 to 18 months. Don't say five years down the road. I can't even think that far. 12 to 18 months, that's next year, right? Don't say today. Did you put gas in your car this week? Yes. How much was gas? Uh, two or four. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. How much was gas? Three. Bullshit. You guys don't know either. Too expensive. No, you swiped your card, you put the gas in, and you left. And here you guys are going and asking people if they saw the rate increases, and you know they haven't. Because they literally have that shit on auto withdrawal, and they pay so many bills, they're numb to it, they just write the check. And you guys are trying to ask them if they've noticed it, and they're not noticing it. They don't like it, they're sure it exists, but they don't notice it, so they're saying no, or they're not giving you the answer that they want, that you want. Does that make sense? Never ask a question if you can't guarantee you're going to get the answer you want. Never. Got it? Hey, by the way, you may say, come on, man. This is sales training. Do we got to go back to the houses, the Ferraris, the Lambos, the fucking shit again? You want a big-ass life? You guys want one? Yes. You got to kill off the old Jew. The old Jew has to die in this room. This is called communication. I am on a stage talking to you. I would be happy to be at a front door with you right now. I'm standing up here because I'm telling you I know this shit. What's your name? Tyler. Date of birth? November 10th, Address? 1989, 34. M mother's name? Barb. 
No, listen, if I ask him any question, he should know it immediately. He should fire back at me immediately. There's no ums, there's no alls, there's no thinking. He knows this shit. It is his life. Does that make sense? Yes. That's how great I know sales. I don't need to think. I've ran these plays thousands of times. I will stand in front of you. You will fire anything at me. I will close your ass. I love you, but I'm prepared. My job is to pull the pressure out of the deal. My job is I know shit's expensive. My job is to keep your goals, your goals at the center of this decision today that we're going to make. All my job is is to help people make decisions to help themselves. That's all my job is. And I'm really good at it. You guys, everything you say, every word that comes out of your mouth is either taking you ahead or taking you back. Do you hear me? Yes. Kill the dead words. No ums, no ahs. This shit about go hit 100 doors and all that, we tell that to people who are average. Because that's what we have to tell you. Okay? But if you guys went and watched Luke, I bet he'd go hit doors and he would convert them really fast. He's like a pit bull. When he gets on a door, he's going to figure it out. You guys have got to be able to talk your way through situations, which means you need to play the situations in advance so you can be deadly at them. Let me explain to you what role play and training and sales is. You, you, li listen, you want to be the best? You want to get rich? Here's how you do it. You envision situations and scenarios and circumstances in advance, and you practice everything that you would say to every one of those things, even though that they haven't happened. So in the event that something does happen like that, you already know what you're going to say. Every time that you think about what you would say, you take a piece of paper and you write down what you think you would say. And then you write it again and 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 again. And then eventually your brain jumps ahead and goes, I know this. And then you go to the mirror. And then you do it again and again and again and again and again and again. And then you start to say, oh, shit, I look like I actually believe it when I say this now. And then you record yourself doing it. And you show it to a buddy. Look at this, Tyler. What do you think, man? How would I do there? And he's like, dude, you suck. And I'm like, let me go do it again. No, 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 because I like that. But then he's like, bro, you're getting better at it. Damn right. How much money is there on the line right now? How much money can you make? Think about it. Listen to me. You may not like what I'm saying to you. You don't want to get rich. You don't want to be the best. You don't want to live a life that counts. You don't want to fucking break your bloodline. You don't want to break generational curses. You're a broke, fucking arrogant person. That's your problem. Okay? You kill your ego and you say, dude, I got to get better. You know what? No more Nintendo games. Go home, rip your freaking TVs off the wall. I'm not even bullshitting. I did it. You go home and you take every TV in your house, you throw it in the back of the truck, and until you get seven figures in your bank account, you're not going back to freaking Costco to buy another TV. Now I'll bet by that time you don't want them. And then you go buy whiteboards. And you go hang whiteboards up in your house. Right. You start writing down your dreams, you start writing down your goals. You know the difference between a dream and a goal? A dream is something you want, a goal is something you execute on and you take action on. Okay, and I'll tell some of you what to do and you still won't do it. You literally spend every waking hour learning how to speak, talk, communicate, shake people's hands, look at people in the eye, use these things. They're weapons. Smile. Be kind. Be loving. Protect your mind. Guard it. And work hard. If you're in your 20s, I would tell you the greatest thing that you could do would be to work five to six days a week, 15 hours a day. Work, work your ass off. You say, well, Andy, come on, shut your mouth. Listen to me. Don't take advice from someone you don't want to become. Whoever's telling you you don't need to work that hard, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you want to be them? Who's ever telling you don't do that and you want to be them? Do you want to have their car? Do you want to have their house? Do you want to have their bank account? YTD, year to date. This is the most important thing, especially when you're young and you want to be successful. Listen, I want you to get it all. I want you to be badasses to your family. But I'm going to tell you this. You want fucking respect? you got to be number one. It's just the way it works. I want to build you guys all to be the greatest. Okay? You know what I want you to do? I want you to understand this is the art of sales. The art of sales is dead in the world. No one cares about it. And in this room, if I can inspire any of you to become a freak like me, 
I will tell you, I will take you on the ride of a lifetime with skill, with a market that literally has dealt with amateurs forever and customers that haven't been treated good. You guys can break the fucking bank wide open right now. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. You have no clue. If you guys all made a decision to go all in and be here one year from now and listen to what I'm saying, you guys would all be rich. Anyone can learn this. Anyone. I stuttered when I was 18. I got in sales. Don't tell me you're not good. So somebody opens the door. What am I going to do? From the knock, knock all the way down, I want to get that utility bill. Is that right? Tyler, the goal is to get the utility bill, right? Okay. Door opens, hey, how you doing? My name's Tyler. Listen, my company's been allocated to this area because research shows in the next 12 to 18 months, utilities bills are gonna double or triple. I've got two quick questions and then I'll be on my way unless you'd like some additional information. Does that sound fair? fair? Okay, cool. Question number one, do you believe that you'll use energy all the days of your life? Do you think you always use energy or do you ever see yourself running your house off candles? We're gonna be using Probably energy. not, right? Always using energy, right? Ha, ha, ha. Okay, number two, do you believe inflation's real? Do you think it's costing more money every day, yes or no? What is my head doing? Watch. Question, by the way, I got two quick questions. Everybody hold up your fingers. Two. Hey, when I say I got two quick questions, then I'll be on my way. I just told them I was leaving. Am I right? I ain't fucking leaving. Just, just, so, so, just so everybody knows, do you think, when I say, hey, my name's Andy, how you doing? My company's been allocated to this area because research shows the next 20, 12 to 18 months, utility bills are going to double or triple. When you say that, they're to the point where they're like, I'm not sure I want to hear him or not. And that's when you pull the, hey, I got two quick questions, and then I'll be on my way unless you'd like some additional information. Does that sound fair? And they go, yeah. And I'm like, got it. Okay, yes, number one. Okay, then I ask the two questions. I say, question number one. I could say, do you believe inflation is real, yes or no? Do you believe stuff's costing more money, yes or no? Oh. Got the second yes. Third one, do you believe that you'll use energy all the days of your life? The energy, the things that run your life, the, the, the house, the, the energy, the electricity, do you believe that you'll use it all the days of your life? Yes or no? Yeah, so since you answered yes, you use electricity forever. And number two, you believe inflation is real. I'm gonna ask you a third question. If your current energy company tripled your utility bill right now, you would have to pay it or they would shut your energy off. Will you agree? Yes, let me ask you a question. If there was a secondary energy option in which you could qualify for that would allow you to be inflation proof and save money, would you want to know about it? Would you? Hey, how you doing? My name's Andy Elliott. My job's to get the information from the people who have it, which is us at Fusion Power, to the people who need it, which is you, the homeowner. All I need to do is take two minutes, get a quick look at your utility bill. I'll let, it, I'll let you know if it looks like you're qualifying. If you do, I'll get you all the information. Is that fair? Can you say no? Watch. Trap. I said traps. See, I didn't train you. I've never been in the field with you. But this is what I know. Master communicator. Make it easy to say yes to. Are you ready? So, hey, how you doing? My name's Andy Elliott. I'm with Fusion Power. My company's been allocated to this area because research shows in the next 12, 18 months, utility bill is going to double or triple. I said, I got two quick questions and I'll be on my way unless you'd like some additional information. Does that sound fair? Everybody, does that sound fair? Is always a very special line to go to. Because they're like, yeah, that sounds fair. I didn't say you want to do it. I said, does that sound fair? So I said, does that sound fair? Yes. Okay, beautiful. And then I say, question number one Do you believe that inflation's real? As soon as I say, do you believe inflation is real? You got to follow it up like, do you believe that things are costing more money? Yes or no? Everybody, do this with your head. Do you believe things are costing more money? Yes or no? They're going to be like, yes. They're going to follow you. They're going to emulate you. They're going to model your head. I know. Some of you are like, I feel stupid doing that. You should feel stupid for depositing the check you're depositing right now. 
That should be embarrassing. You're embarrassed by doing what I'm doing? No, I'm going to show you how to get control of your life and to get rich and to get paid. I know. Learning something new feels stupid. If I was to get him, a, do, you, do you hula hoop? No. Nope. God. But if I gave him a hula hoop, if he practiced it for 30 days, do you think he could be good at it? Yes or no? Yes. What would it look like on day one of the hula hoop? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Today's day one. Today, this, this hula hoop deal, it looks stupid. And when I'm like saying, you know, yeah, yeah, and I'm up here doing this, it looks stupid to you guys. But one to one, when I'm down here and I'm like, does that make sense? No, don't shoot me, but I'm like, Mike, does that make sense? You know what I'm saying, right? Yes. Okay, like I can own him. If I'm here with him, I can own him, <laughs> right? So imagine this, because I'm at the door. It's like right here, saying, now I'm closer to you guys. Hey, how you doing? My name's Andy Elliott. My company's been allocated to this area because research shows in the next 12 to 18 months, utility bills are going to double or triple. Listen, I got two quick questions, and then I'll be on my way unless you like some additional information. Does that sound fair? I'm not interested. Yeah, most people aren't, but I got you the information. <laughs> or I can have you sign the waiver, which says when the bills do go up, you actually, um, you, didn't, you didn't want the information. My, my husband's gone. He, hasn't, he, he makes all the decisions. No problem. I'm going to be back in the area all week long. When's he going to be back, and I'll come through? He's not coming back. Okay, cool. Guess what? <laughs> go to the next house. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not going to sit here around and go to the next house. Does that make sense? Yeah. See, people are like, well, what do you say when they say no nine times? You can leave. <laughs> because because he's not going to be a d So, like, I'm going to get his ass. Does that make sense? Yeah. By the way, everybody say forfeit. Forfeit. Yeah. Listen, I'm just telling you this. Listen, if somebody was to say I'm not interested, I would say something along these lines. Listen, I have a form that you can sign. It just says that you basically forfeit to get the information to save money on your energy. That's fine. So that way, when the, when the bills do go up through the roof, at least they know that you did have an opportunity to learn about it. OK? Do you guys, do you guys want to forfeit the information? Does anybody want to forfeit the information? No. Didn't think so. <laughs> See? Use the word forfeit. I don't like to forfeit. Makes me sound like you're taking something from me. <laughs> guys, listen. I, I don't sell solar. All I do is help people make decisions to help themselves. You guys probably already made a decision you want to save money on everything in your life. Am I right? You probably decide you're going to use energy all the days of your life. Am I right? You're already currently using energy, and you're already currently paying the bill. So I have nothing to sell you. The only thing I can do is save you money. Am I right? Today and down the road. Can, can I just get you the information? And then in the end, it's your decision. Does that sound fair? Does that sound fair? You hear that? Yeah. I will wrap you. Listen, it's like I have a blanket, and the whole time I'm talking to you, I'm just trying to wrap you in it. I'm just trying to wrap you up. I'm just trying to wrap you. Does that make sense? Yes. Now look, do I look nervous? Nope. Do I look scared? No. I'm not scared. I know my job. Do listen, I was in the car business, right? Anybody ever sold cars in here? Okay. People call and they say, what's my payment going to be? Am I right? Yeah. Every day. And you know what I hear salesmen say? Oh, I can't get you that information. What's my payment going to be? Oh, I can't get you that. Uh, we're not allowed to go over that with you over the phone. You know what I would say? I would say shit that sounded so good, people never asked again. They'd say, what's my payment going to be? I'd say, I'm so glad you asked that. My licensed finance department uses a very strict budgeting system that ensures that you don't ever have to worry about your payment being too high. As a matter of fact, most of my clients that had the same concern as you in the past actually left with a much lower payment than they were expecting. So getting to know you here on the phone, we're phenomenal in that area. We're going to blow you away. What time can you make it in? Right now or after work be best? Bro, I'll spin. I'll spin anything. But I don't have to guess or think what I'm going to say. A guy comes into a car dealership. He'd say, hey, Andy, thanks for letting me drive the car, but I need to think about it, right? And I'd say, of course you need to think about it. I'm giving you enough information not to think about it. What I would like to do is give you a quick five-minute proposal of all the numbers so when you go home, you truly have something to think about. Would that be fair? Could I do that for you? Thank you guys so much. Come on inside. Boom, I'd rip them inside. Nobody could escape me. My nickname when I sold was Alcatraz. <laughs> no one escapes. Listen, my mom left when I was two. I was raised by kids. I did everything wrong. At 18 years, I, I got introduced to sales. I was making $500,000 a year in 2001 in the car business. Everybody, please listen to me. I'm not even joking. Okay? I don't know who you are. I don't know what your life looks like. I don't know if you have a family, but I know this. Everybody in this room is capable of more. I'm fascinated by how fast human beings can grow. 
I can't believe it. When someone decides to take their life serious, they become unstoppable. Some of you guys that are laughing at me, sitting there, you're fucked. Now listen to me. At the end of your life, discipline ain't hard. Regrets ain't hard. You're going to regret it. And here I was trying to beg you to go get a better life. I'm willing to bet most of you in here wish someone believed in you more. I'm willing to bet most of you in here probably have thought, man, I wish someone would believe in me. I wish someone would just teach me how to, how to get that life. I see that guy. I see what he's doing. Just, I wish someone would take me under their wing. What the fuck do you think we're trying to do? Somebody tell you what we're trying to say. What are we trying to do? No, no. Trying to, trying to get you to wake up. See, guys, solar's, solar's a great thing. The reason, and by the way, one day we're going to sell everybody, and then everybody's going to have solar. We're going to sell something else. It'll be something we believe in. But right now, what, 80% of the fucking world don't have solar? We've got a lot of solar to sell. And it pays a lot of money. And the last I checked, a lot of you guys in here want to make a lot of money. So if you really want to make a lot of money, wake up. Stop sleeping in. Stop being lazy. Quit being around the wrong people. Stop playing the victim card. Okay? Own your shit. Okay? Take control of your life. Start saying no to anything that doesn't have to do with you doing what we're talking about in this room right now. Go for a hundred days of just a good routine. Take care of yourself. Feed your mind. By the way, if anyone in this room has a bad thought in their head, who put it there? You'll blame it on me. I know you will. You'll leave. You'll be like, I can't believe that guy. Yeah. yeah you, you built your mind the way that you built it, and I built mine the way I built it. You know what I would do? I would set this human being next to this human being, and this one over here that's bitching, whining, complaining. You know, this one over here says, seriously, I'm going to get serious this year, seriously. This is my year. Seriously, I'm so serious this year. This, this is the most serious as I've ever been. I know. I'm seriously, serious, seriously going to do it this time. Really? Really? And then when it doesn't happen, you're going to get mad at me because I made fun of you. It's the same message until you die. You're in control of your life. Your life is yours. Okay? You want to get rich? Very simple. Number one, you got to be a leader. Leaders self-lead. You got to lead yourself. Leaders make good decisions. When you guys walk out of here, should you drink a Coke or a bottle of water? water. What happens if you drink the Coke? No, if you drink the Coke, you just made a bad decision. Pennies make dollars. Some of you want dollars. You don't respect pennies, you'll never get a dollar. You can't make a Coke and a water decision. Stop telling me you want to be a millionaire. You can't eat a piece of grilled chicken over a cheeseburger, knock it off. Stop, just shut your mouth. You say, Andy, that doesn't matter. Oh yeah? Let's audit your life. Let's put your bank account on display. Let's put all your assets on display. Let's put the numbers of lives that you've changed on display. Let's see how many people you motivate on display. Oh. No one. It's all about you. Imagine fucking that. I'm going to tell you, leaders are selfless. Everything you do isn't for you. It's so that you can inspire someone else and create human excellence for your future team, for your future family, for yourself. That's it, guys. Listen, creating a better life is honestly becoming a different person. That's it. You guys can take the strategies, you can take the word tracks, but if you stay the same, you're screwed. A new strategy with the same identity is death. This is a new identity. And you know what I'll tell you guys? I would hijack. The way that I think, I'm delusional. I've always been delusional. Sales is a transfer of belief. When you're talking to someone about a product or about a thing or about anything, the number one the third thing that they're doing is looking at you and seeing if they can believe you. Do you understand that? Do you guys get that? People right now have bullshit meters everywhere, and all they're trying to find is the truth. 
How sold are you on what you're currently doing? How sold are, are you on what it is that you want to do? How sold are you on that you want to be a leader to change people's lives? Can I ask you a question? If you sign someone up on solar, if you can get someone closed on it, or if you set a deal for a closer, every time that you get a yes, do you help someone change their life, yes or no? Yes. Do you really believe that? Yes. If you really believe that, you would never take no for an answer. If you really believe that, every time you went to someone's door and you hit them with some bullshit didn't work, you would never pull that bullshit again. Listen, this is called intelligence, okay? If you're looking at me and I show you a red card and then I slap you, what did I show you? A red card. And then what did I do? Slap you. What if I pulled up another red card? Slapped you again. Dude, if I pull up a red card again, you better fucking duck. But if I slap you again, it shows me you're dumb. You don't have any intelligence. Sales 101. I go to someone's door. Hey, I'm here because, you know, we're in the neighborhood and, you know, Nancy, five blocks down, she said that, you know, she was wanting to put groceries on her tables. And, you know, I'd, and they say no. The Nancy story is dead. I don't tell the Nancy story again. Okay? I say something that allows me to do what? Make it easy to say yes to. Make it hard to say no to. Make it the client's idea every single time. Traps, okay? Traps. Traps are always, does that sound fair? Yeah? Does that sound fair? All right, cool. See this head? Nod it. All the time. See these eyes? Light them up. See these teeth? Show them. See these hands? They're weapons. I know. Some of you guys are introverted in here. Guess what? Die an introvert, die broke. You don't want to pull your hands up because you feel stupid? What makes you feel more stupid, being broke or putting your hands up? Bro. Put your fucking hands up then. Okay? Put your hands up. These hands, they're weapons. And by the way, I want to tell you something. I love when people show me how to win. I love it. I love it. I want to know who's the greatest student in this room. That's what I want to know. I want to know who in here has the ability to change the most. You know what I want to know? I want to know how many of you in here, if you truly believe solar is a million dollar a year job, and we're in here telling you how to make a million a year, how many of you really believe it's possible, and then are you really going to do the work to become it? The work to become number one is when no one is looking. It's the energy at the door when no one's around. It's the attitude and the belief when no one's around. It's the late night to the early mornings when no one is there to role play with you, but you're role playing like Kobe Bryant did early in the game before anybody was out there. Oh, I thought practice was at eight. I've been on the court since five. Why practice was at eight? Because I've been on the court since five. I've got a different plan than you. By the way, you want anybody to remember your name? Yeah. I mean it. They're not going to know your fucking name unless you stand out. You stand out by being number one on the fucking leaderboard. That's it. You know why they know Luke Ward's name? Because he hit the numbers. Then they wanted to know who he was. Then they want to yell and scream with him. Then they want to have fun with him. Some of you guys in here, it's just a decision. Look, dude, my name's Andy Elliott. I built a company called the Elliott Group. I have a million people around the world wearing Elliott on their shirt. Listen, I'm telling you right now, man. Somebody fucking doesn't believe in you. They have bet against you. They talk shit on you. And you're fucking proving them right. Yeah? Yeah, that fucking thing they said about you, good fucking job. You're proving them exactly fucking right. And you know what's even sad? Is that I'll bet one of you in here as somebody who did believe in you. And you're f***ing them over. They shouldn't have believed in you. Everybody told them they were stupid for believing you, and they did, and you f***ing let them down. I'm not letting my, my wife believe in me. I'm not letting her down. Everybody else said I wasn't going to make it. I'm burning their eyes out. Okay? I'm literally, I'm destroying them, and I love it. I love laughter. I love, it motivates me. I love hate. It's food. I love it. I love it. If, if, if you guys are getting out there and people are hating on you, about time. About time you decide to start trying harder. Now you're finally getting noticed. That means you're on the, on the come up. Super important guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Got to train.
It's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. People, they, they operate in two ways. I wanna tell you how I operate and you can decide how you operate. People are either running towards a life they want or they're running from a life that they hated. I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. I hated the old me. I'm gonna be honest with you, my intentions were, I just wanna make money. I didn't wanna help nobody. I'm gonna be completely transparent. I was raised, make money, clang and bang and roll. And it was cool. You know what's cooler? Helping people. You can do both. As a matter of fact, when you help people, you, you honestly, like, you sleep like a baby. You get rich, you have a rich life, you love yourself, you inspire other people, you show people the right way to do stuff. Guys, you're in a, you're in a market right now with solar kind of being unregulated, where honestly, amateurs have scrolled through the last couple years of sales. Do you understand how bad they fucking sucked? Do you understand? Some of you sound like they do now, and I'm not being negative. You can't stay that way. What I would tell you is, can you guys emulate what I'm doing? Yes, yes or yes. no? Yes. If you can, you're rich. You're, you're rich, it's done. How do I know that? Because I'm rich. I know that I can sell anything to anybody. Nobody can tell me no. L listen to what I'm saying to you. You may say, I'm sick of you telling me what you can do. I know you are. Because you don't believe in yourself and you don't understand what's, how success operates. You don't understand how success works. When you go to Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan, do you think they think they were going to hit the fucking shot or not? Yes. yes. Give me the ball. I'm sinking that shit. That's how you guys got to think. Listen, if you're the, the suckiest salesperson in this room, the worst, if you're the worst one in the room, you should be saying, I'm the best. I'm the best. And you got to believe that. And eventually, you will be the best. Dude, I sucked until I didn't. But I told everybody that I was the best, and I eventually became the best. And so will you. But dude, you got to wake up and you got to believe in yourself. And people aren't going to like it when you say, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best. Those people don't belong in your life. Those people are idiots. Those people are not successful. Those people don't have the life that you want, and those people aren't going to go where you're going to go. Do you get it? So, are you going to get shit trying to become this new thing? Yeah. But guess what? It's totally worth it. So, I'm just looking at a lot of you guys, man, and I'm like, how fast, listen, how fast could we storm the industry together and honestly annihilate the whole, whole solar industry? Every person in this room, when they walk out of here, you're like, dude, from now on, when I hit a door, I'm literally going to talk to everybody like I've known them my whole life. Every time that I talk to someone, I'm going to talk to them like they're never going to never going to forget me. I'm going to talk to them with the energy in a buying state and transfer of emotion. I'm going to take the way I feel and I'm going to push it into them. By the way, Listen, if I got some old people, I know you're not going to get the wild and crazy Andy Elliott, but I know how to play the, each way at each front door. I know that people, most people, have not been treated good in their life. Do you guys think the devil is attacking most people in this world in their head mentally, yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. And then here you are, you show up. Fucking angel. Just think, what would you guys do if someone showed up on your front door right now and you're having a bad day and they were fucking cool? Good. Yeah, you feel good. I know, I know, we're like, no, I would be, no, you wouldn't. I know how God made you. See, listen to me. There's some things called dopamine, right? You get hits. When you, when you do something, some people get them off playing Nintendo games, some people get them off social media, I get them off closing deals, okay? There's chemicals that God releases in your body when you do hard shit, called serotonin and called oxytocin. Do you guys understand 
that if all of you in here would say, dude, Andy, I'm going to start doing really hard shit. I'm going to start training every morning. I'm going to go take my TV off my wall. I'm going to put some whiteboards up. I swear to God, for the next 365 days, I'm going to go pure psycho mode. I'm going to say no to everything, and I'm going to go total immersion in this. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. First, you're not going to get the money. But immediately when you're doing these hard things and you're making these decisions and you're doing the right thing, your body is going to start rewarding you with a biological reward called oxytocin and serotonin. Dude, it's incredible. It is like a hit of crack. I've never done crack. But if I was a crackhead, it would be like that. You know what I love, guys? How many of you have ever worked out really hard and... When you were doing something hard, working out, running, it's like the pain got masked with like pleasure and it felt good for a minute. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna do something, check this out. Pitch, I don't care what you pitch, make sure it's a trap. Make it so good they can't say no. Okay, wave, why people like that shit. Hand on your heart. Hey, don't forget to short, hey, don't shortcut either. Okay, by the way, I see a lot of people yawning. If it was my company, I'd have you guys doing tons of push-ups. I'm not even joking. But I understand, though, because people yawn when your brain is working because it makes you tired. Does that make sense? Dude, I learn all day. I never yawn. You know why? I'm addicted to this shit. My life is so good, man. If I can just get you guys bit by the bug, by, like, what me and Luke are talking about. By the way, I want to be completely clear. I want to build people to be better than me. I remember when I was sitting there and I was a sales guy, I had a sales trainer, and he was teaching me some stuff, and I remember thinking, man, I want to talk like that. I want to be that good. And you know what I did? I did everything that he said. How, how, how big of a fool would, would you be if I'm sitting here with the life that I have that you want, and you won't do what I'm telling you to do? You got to do whatever it takes. Okay? Fall in love with doing hard shit. Okay, which is going to lead me to, to this last thing, and then we're done. I wrote down this thing. This, Luke was talking about the recipe for success. And I put down some things here. I'm not going to go through the definition, but grit. People say, what's grit? If, I would, if you didn't know how to swim, and I was to drop you in the ocean 300 yards offshore, and you didn't know how to swim... If you had no grit, you would die. If I dropped you 600 yards offshore and you didn't know how to swim, if you had grit, it would be ugly, but you would find your way to the shore. Do you understand? Grit. The recipe for being the greatest salesperson on planet Earth, grit, fortitude, confidence, self-belief, self-esteem. Audit yourself. These things, one to 10, you must be tens in all of these things. If you want to be a multi-million dollar earner, these are things you must practice daily. Self-esteem, discipline, determination, perseverance, kindness. you got to be kind to people. You can be a savage and be loving to people. Okay? Positive, self-love, gratitude. I'm going to tell you this, man. I almost went to jail when I was younger. And I'm going to tell you, dude, when I found out I wasn't going to go, you had, no, you had no idea how much I value my life after that. I know people right now, they got diagnosed with a sickness, and they, 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 some have died, some almost died, and now they're alive. And I've seen how they see life differently. I'm going to tell you guys something really cool. Did I tell you about the story my dad cut off my toe? Well, because this is important, because some of you right now need to change something, and something's going to have to happen really bad before you'll change. So when I was four years old, my sister ran me over with a lawnmower. She cut my toe off. She was 10, and I was four. And I'm going to tell you what happened, because it's pretty crazy. I'm born in 79. It's 1983, and we're riding in a car with no air conditioner, and the windows are rolled up. It's 120 degrees outside, and literally, my dad is a chain smoker. I have asthma, and he's smoking one after another, like this. And I tell my dad, I say, Dad, I'm, I'm four years old. 
I say, Dad, can you please crack your window? He goes, shut your mouth. I'm the parent. You're the kid. That's the way it was back then. They used to smoke on airplanes. They smoked in restaurants. It was f***ing disgusting everywhere. I had asthma. I had headaches every day. I couldn't breathe. It was a two-hour trip. I remember us driving to this place. I had the worst headache. I'm four years old. I remember this like it was yesterday. I remember my dad, the way that he was to me on the car ride over. Un Dude, he didn't care that I was back there choking. He was, he was the alpha, smoking, shut your mouth. When we get there, my sister runs me over with the lawnmower on accident. Riding lawnmower, she's mowing this field. My dad put her on there at 10. Somehow, I got in her way. She ran me over. Uh, my dad comes over. There's blood everywhere. I mean, my sisters are covered in blood. My shoe's half torn off. We can't really tell if half my foot's cut off, really what's going on. But what we know is that I'm, I'm gutting. I'm bleeding out like a freaking deer. I'm just bleeding, 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 blood just pumping out. My dad picks me up. It's a two-hour ride to the hospital. That's how far we were out. My dad's racing all the way to the hospital. When he brings me in, I'm literally green. I lost all the blood. And I remember this. I was kind of awake, kind of out, and I was four. And I remember my dad handing me over to the doctor, and the doctor goes, there's a very good chance that your son's going to die today. My dad falls to his knees and starts bawling. I, I've never seen my dad cry like this. And I tell the doctor, take me back. I go under surgery for six hours. Pump me full out of the blood. I come back out. I remember my dad, as soon as I opened my eyes, my dad goes, I'm never going to smoke again. Just, just think. Your last memory, you told your son, shut the f up. Then he goes and gets killed. If some of you in here want to really change your bloodline, I'm willing to bet half of you in here are going to die way before you think you're going to die. Maybe me too. My family's in a good place. I woke up when I was 39 years old. I started taking my life serious. My family's in a good place. I don't play. The information I brought to you today with the skill, with the market that we're in right now, the market that we're in, people undelivering on customer service, amateurs everywhere. Dude, you guys have never had a better opportunity in your life to get ahead. But you gotta get serious. Go to the next level. Look, dude, you've already won the lottery. You're on a bed of diamonds. Wake up, go psycho. So I love you guys. All of these things right here, right? These are things that'll make you mentally tough. And then I left on one last thing. I, put, I always tell my team, let's move fast and let's leave the rest behind. I tell everybody, we're leaving everybody behind. They're either with us or against us. This is war to me. And then this thing on mental toughness. I got two sentences, okay? This is on my computer. Mental toughness means taking responsibility for yourself. Okay? Taking responsibility. Your job is your life. And if you're a man or a woman and you're in here, it's your responsibility to take control of your life right now and go freaking psycho. That's your job. Okay? Don't let anyone down. By the way, if nobody believes in you, burn their freaking eyes out. Okay? Do it with us. I'm all on your side. I believe in you. I'll go all in. And then I put, it means no matter what. Everybody say no matter what. No matter what. That means don't give me some bullshit, okay? The devil came to kill, steal, destroy. He's going to try every trick. And guess what? I want him to hate you. I want him to say, this guy just ain't going to quit, is he? I can't take him out, this stubborn son of a bitch. Yeah? Yeah, that's right. No matter what circumstances life throws at you, you'll always find a way to win. That's what I want you to do. If you're the brokest person in this room right now, good. You're the most dangerous person in this room. If you're in this room and you have absolutely zero money, you should have a chip on your shoulder right now. Okay? You should have a bag of all the that everybody said that you weren't going to become. And any time that you don't want to work hard, you need to reach in that bag and pull some of that out. And I'm a broke person with money. So, like, I love broke people. I hate rich people. I hate them. I don't like the way they look at people. I don't like their disrespectful ass. I love broke people. But I like broke people who are overcomers 
and who can beat adversity. So let's become the best, guys. Train like hell. I want to see how many of you guys got the courage to go rip the TVs off your wall. Put whiteboards up. Start recreating. Listen, hijack someone's mind who you want to be and become them. And then throw your mind in the garbage. You're the gatekeeper. You decide what real estate, guys, real estate goes in your neighborhood. That's the way it works. So, guys, I love you. Did you guys get a lot today? Yeah! Okay, so I love you. Let's build the greatest examples on planet Earth in here. Let's go. All right. Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true point zero 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 one percenters. Look, I know one percenters, it can make it halfway through the video, but making it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I wanna get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I wanna roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link, it says coach with me one-on-one, -on -one, okay? If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast, and I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.